Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. In last video, we used this Excel worksheet to calculate the total of the marks with the help of a macro. And in this video, we will use the vacu concept. <clears throat> Why we use vacu? Like we have this Excel workbook and we want to process the data. So we will read this workbook and we will get the data in the collection and then we will process that data means row by row or one by one now let's say in uh, let's say if the excel sheet contains 2000 or 10000 rows or there can be means lot of data and our process gets terminated due to some reason so when we again run the process it will start from the beginning means it will read the excel worksheet and then process the data but blue prism provides a concept of vacu with the help of which we can first load the data into vacu and then run the process and process that data with the help of vacu we can run the process on two boards as well because one excel sheet can't be handled by the one or uh, two or many more boards but once we load the data into vacu we can use multiple boards and that boards can get the data from the work queue and process that data and store the result a queue contains any number of work items which are passed out to consuming processes in order of priority then in the order that they were added to the queue means it is based on first in first out means the item which is first inserted into work queue will be fetched first so let's start and let's create a work queue go to system tab and click on work queues under workflow and here you can create a new vacuum just click on new and add the details means name of the queue the name of the queue should be unique means there shouldn't be any existing vacuum with this name you can assign a unique name to the vacuum and then in key name you can give the name of the field or any column which is unique or by which you want to identify your item or data and next one is maximum attempt in case you want blue prism to retry the items in case of any exception you can increase the maximum attempts means if you want to retry a uh, item two times then give it two and status should be running next one is encrypted if you want to encrypt your data then select this and next one is retry items in the queue in the event of any uninterrupted unexpected termination also we can make this as an active queue now click on apply and this queue will be visible in the queue management go to queue management and here we can see this work queue see when we select this work queue we can see the items in the below table so let's add some items in this work queue first we will read the data from the excel file and then add that data into this vacuum run the process and we got the data in this collection now take an action stage and select vacuum business object select this action add to queue and give the name of the queue and the collection which contains the data now let's connect this stage and run the process now go back to the queue management and refresh and here we can see 18 pending items in the vacuum as it is mentioned here when first created on a queue an item has a workflow status of pending when we means insert the item then the status will be pending so we can see 18 items in pending state and this is the item key means that name field of that collection so here we can see only item key we don't see any another data all the other data has saved in the blue prism database with that encryption scheme which we selected so we can save vacu pro uh, vacu is a secure way of saving the data in the deep now let's see how can we get this item one by one and process this item first let me show you how can we see the data of the of an item means uh, like we have the data in our excel sheet marks or english marks hindi marks etc so let's see how can we see that means how can we fetch that from the vacuum we have to take an action stage and select vacuum business object and get next item action and give the uh, queue name here and it will return this data so it 
when we execute this action it will fetch an item from the work queue on the basis of first in first out that item which was inserted first it that will fetch first and here we can see the data of that item now we can apply and now we can process this data you can see this this uh, contain the first row of the excel because this was inserted first now simply you can apply your logics on this data and process this data so for inserting the data we use add to queue for fetching the data we use get next item when we fetch the date item from the work queue the status of the item will be changed and it will become log now we will process the data and we can apply the logics means whether we means after processing whether we want to complete this logged item or mark it as exception let's say if we want to do calculation of the marks and we we will see means if the total is greater than this then it it will mark as completed otherwise it will mark as exception so let's see how can we mark an item as exception or completed take an action stage select work queue and use this action mark completed or marks mark exception for mark completed you have to give the item id of the item you can get the item id from this get next item select this and in the output you can get this item id item id is unique for all the item and in get next item sorry in uh, mark completed select uh, give that item id as an input so that blue prism will mark this item as an completed similarly we can mark it as exception in mark exception action we have to give the termination or exception reason as well let's run the bot and it will fetch one item do the calculation and mark it as completed we can see this in the queue let's refresh this work queue and we can see tick mark in front of this row so this item has been successfully processed similarly we can fetch next item and process it and mark as completed so we are like uh, fetching one 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 item and then processing it so we can create a loop on this get next item action means it will keep fetching the item and keep processing so when we fetch the item we get a item id so we can check if item id is empty or not if it is empty means there isn't any item left in the work queue then we can stop our process so see we have processed four item and mark as completed we can see in the work queue let's add the logic to mark exception select mark exception action and give the exception reason here and run the process for a couple of time and here you can see some items are marked as exception as well we can see a flag sign for exception items means we can easily identify exception item by seeing this flag in the first column see so you uh, we can see the exception reason in the tax column now let me create a logic which will mark both exception and complete it so we have created a decision stage if this decision is true it will mark the item as completed otherwise it will mark it as exception so you can apply your business logics rules and process the items accordingly uh, if process gets terminated and we rerun the process then again bot will uh, open the excel file and add the data into work queue so for this we have a action is item in queue so in this action we can give the name of the queue and the key and there are some flags means whether we want to check whether this item is available in the pending in completed or in terminated for example if i want to check in all the pending items or all in, or all in the or in the all completed items then i will give all the flag as true and in output i will get the flag means that will tell whether this item is available or not now we can use a loop stage and traverse on the input data which we want to insert into work queue and then we can check whether this item is already available in the work queue or not if it is already available then we won't add this into work queue to avoid the duplicacy of the data see when we uh, we need to insert the key as well on the basis of that blue prism will compare this item means whether this key is available or not see 
this decision is giving uh, going into false path, uh, true path means this item is already available all the 18 items are available in the work queue that's why it is going into the true path see no new item has been added because all the items are already available so this is how we can check the duplicacy of the data and we can insert the data into work queue how we can uh, fetch the data from the work queue how we can process the items and then mark them as exception not completed so remaining actions of the work queue object we will see in the next video do let me know if you have any doubt or any question thanks for watching guys